Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're in between Europa League legs. The first match we won 2-0 against AC Milan in the San Siro. Next match after this one is back home against them. Hopefully we can get through to the final. It's looking likely it's going to be against Wolfsburg as they're 2-0 up against West Ham going into their second leg. So we have made a few changes. Some tired bodies were in there. We do want to keep some of them fresh for the next one. You can see a few downward reds also contributed to that. Quite a few changes. We're actually going to start Martinelli up top with Mudrick on the left, Perez on the right right so you can see he'll probably come off the bench at some point Arcas has come back in again he, again he's still on an upward flashing arrow so keeping him in he's going in attacking midfield alongside Vieira with Mariba in the center so at home to um sorry at the home of Leganes I was trying to say there should be a good match should be comfortable you would think we've already got the league tied up so this is just for extra points I don't want to lose any matches. I still want to win every match comfortably, even if it doesn't actually matter in terms of contributing to any sort of cup wins or anything like that. And Mariba was injured only for one match. He apparently picked up a knock at some point, so he missed the last one. But he's back. Quite a changed lineup today. Nice play by Arcas. And still, Vieira. Oh, good save. Mudrick. Oh, it's the post. Oh, unlucky there, Mudrick. He hasn't been contributing too much in terms of goals lately. He hasn't played as much, actually. Vieira, surely that was a a push Mudruk again and of course the defender blocks it I don't think it would have uh, trouble to keep it too much anyway but get a corner out of that oh, already uh, Mudruk is causing trouble down that left uh, that'd be another corner or was it a goal kick goal kick ok I think we have improved in our corner taking and well potentially scoring off them but it's still a very low percentage that we score off them or even create a very good chance so I'm not too bothered that that went out for a goal kick really I'm sorry if you can hear some weird noise in the background I don't know what it is it's something outside I don't know if it's a car or something. Anyway, here's Mudrick. Overruns at this time. Trying too much. Now Tech Share it. Arcas. Comfortably held. Oops. Everyone's fallen over there. Not quite sure what was going on. Right now, Modric. It's been the star of the show, I think, so far in this game. A bit unlucky there. Thought Martinelli was in. One nil, brilliant finish there from Vieira. Nice play from Mudrick. Again, he's been the best player so far. Nice one-two with Martinelli. Sorry, it wasn't a one-two. It was uh, Arcas to Vieira. And a lovely, powerful finish from Vieira. Very good at that. Uh, getting into the box. like I suppose back in the day like a Lampard type player for me he's very much maybe doesn't score as many long ranges but he's very much that player that sits near the edge of the box he's got a good link of play he gets the shots away from sort of 
just outside the box or just running in. He's one of our top goal scoring threats from the actual midfield. It's Martinelli. Now Modric. Ah, oh, terrible. Yeah, again, sorry about that noise. It is a car. Some idiots just sitting outside and they're just revving the engine for no reason. Because they've got nothing better to do, obviously. Modric. That's got to be a foul. Clumsy challenge. Comfortable save from Andan. I'm never very confident in him. He's had a couple of dodgy games. He is young though. He's obviously a regen. Nice play there to Teixeira. Got a little bit lucky there. Modric oh, gets pushed over there. Should be stronger, really. I forgot about Carlos Perez. He hasn't really been in the match because all the action's really been on that uh, right hand side for us. Oh, trying to get Modric through that. Should be half time. We'll jump straight into the second one it does. And we had a massive 63% possession in that first half. It's been all ourselves. Um, just the fact that we've only scored one goal. The only downside, I would say. But here's Modric. And he gets fouled there twice. His shirt getting pulled all over the place. And we just don't get those free kicks. Well, it would have been a penalty, obviously, but... And when I do it to the opposition, they, they do get it. That's the annoying part. And we do get a foul there when it's outside the box. Great. <laughs> and from that range... Ooh, um, who do we want? Let's try Vieira. Oh, now they've got a player right there. Oh, what a goal! We don't score many free kicks. Top right hand corner. It actually took a little bit of a deflection by the looks of it. Yeah, it did. That player that I thought was going to be in the way that they brought in when I changed it to Vieira actually... Uh, deflected it in and you don't really see that it either gets blocked or it goes directly in and well yeah we're getting a, a goal that I think he deserves it's been very good today that well, second goal rather I feel like Mudrick deserves a goal he's done everything but score really play Martinelli now a nice ball out wide to Mudruk but Mudruk is just on his heels there he needs to be better really does just hasn't been the same how, how quick is that player he's not that quick but the uh, the rubber banding 
is ridiculous with the AI sometimes. So you can't get away from them. They just have a sudden burst of acceleration, even with really pretty slow players. Ah. Make some subs actually now, it's good. Show. I am going to bring Bjer on for Perez, who hasn't done too much. And I'm going to bring Xerxes on for Mudrick and put Martinelli back out wide. I do think, I mean, Martinelli's been a little bit quiet in this game. He's linked up fairly well, but in terms of creating chances for himself, not too much. I do think he's more suited on that left. And Mudrick, he probably deserved a goal, but he just he seems to have lost that cutting edge a little bit lately. Um, which is a little bit worrying, but... Oh, Narcas gets in here. Oh, a lovely chip. What a finish from Arcas. Running on to the, to the ball. Had options. Went for the chip with his weaker foot. Perfectly placed. These don't often come off, but this was absolutely perfectly executed there. And again, Arcas, you can just always rely on I me, mean, not necessarily always scoring or things like that, but he always puts in a decent performance at least. Never really seems to have a stinker. Um, oh, here's Bajer now. Oh, trying to find his way through to Martinelli. Maybe the wrong option. McDowell, he hasn't really been involved much. But again, it's mainly been on the, the left of our attack. That's been the main source of, sort of fruition from a tap point of view. Oh. at a wide to tech share there because there's a little bit of space now ZXC Martinelli beautiful footwork but he, just too many players in the way really don't know what they're doing in defence there Don't see Martin only have too many terrible passes or touches and things like that, but that was definitely a bad pass. And we could pay for it. Great defending there in the end from McDowell. Just getting his head on the ball. On a breakaway, potentially. Well, it's two against three. Oh, terrible tackle. It's got to be a yellow. Yeah. That's not a bad result because we were outnumbered. Vieira's very tired. Um, What was that? That's not remotely who I was trying to pass to. And how has this guy got away? Come on, man, Danny. You need to be quicker than that. Jeez. Just clear it. What is going on? Good tackle there. Vieira. Arcas. Martinelli. Martinelli again. Oh, is that a foul? Referee says no. It looked like a trip to me. <sighs> Defender just got his toe in there. I think he did get the ball that time. Not 
long left now. Maybe one last chance to get that extra goal that we don't need, but here's Martinelli. Martinelli, that'll be a corner. Definitely a chance there, though. Especially with Martinelli on the ball. And that might be it. Oh, I don't know. Sixty. Oh, good save. Sixty hasn't done much since he came on, but um, very nice shot there. Couldn't do much more than that. And that should be it now. Full time, it will be three nil. Very, very solid performance. Vieira, without doubt, man of the match. Yeah, as you can see, very dominant in possession, shots on target, everything. They really did not create a lot at all. And like I say, without doubt, Vieira was man of the match. Arcas, again, played very well. Martinelli, eh, not great. Mudrick was very, very good in the first half. A little bit unlucky not to score, but he just needs to get his shooting boots on. And Xerxes did pretty well when he came on as well. And that's it for today, guys. Very solid performance and a good win, taking that uh, into the second leg of the Europa League semi-final against AC Milan. We've got a two-goal cushion, remember. Hopefully, we can get through to our first European final in our first attempt. So join me for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all then. Cheers.